Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health. It's time for a reality check concerning cancer treatment, uh, specifically chemotherapy. You ready? I don't know if you're ready. You're welcome to your own opinion, but not your own set of facts. Here are the facts. These data from the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, which have better treatment outcomes than the national standard. So these treatment outcomes are the best conventional medical treatment outcomes in the United States for the treatment of cancer. You ready? Here are the numbers. If you have small cell lung cancer, 96% of those patients will be dead after five years. 96% failure rate. Ovarian cancer, 67% failure rate after five years. Pancreatic cancer, 98%. Of pancreatic cancer patients are dead after five years. Prostate cancer, 69% are dead. Rectal cancer survival, 91% are dead after five years. Stomach cancer, 98% are dead after five years. Colon cancer, 93% are dead after five years. Throat cancer, esophageal cancer, 100%. 100% of patients diagnosed with this cancer are dead after five years. Non-small cell lung cancer, 96% dead. Kidney cancer, 92% dead. It is a dead end. The, the, the treatment train is off of the tracks, over the cliff, in a ditch, in a swamp that's on fire. Conventional treatment for cancer does not work. And you don't even have to be a statistician to figure this out. Just ask yourself the simple question, how many people do you know that have been diagnosed with cancer? How many of them are still alive? Has it been more than five years? And if they are still alive, what is the quality of their lives like? Now, look, I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor, and people assume I'm against pharmaceuticals. I'm not. Thank God for insulin and lidocaine and the sterile technique, but I'm also a realist. Did you know this? That the only pharmaceutical that medical doctors get a piece of the action of is chemotherapy drugs. Did you know that? If your medical doctor prescribes a blood pressure medicine or a heartburn medicine or a pain medication, there's no kickback. But if your oncologist prescribes chemotherapy, there's a big kickback. And even though it doesn't work, this is why it's rolled out. It is a gigantic moneymaker. But don't believe me, believe the literature. This was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology in 2004. That's a long time ago. They looked at 22 different cancers and whether or not chemotherapy was an effective treatment for those cancers, the results... Chemotherapy was effective 2.3% of the time. The conclusion was it is now clear that cytotoxic chemotherapy only makes a minor contribution to cancer survival to justify the continued funding and availability of drugs used in cytotoxic chemotherapy, a rigorous evaluation of the cost effectiveness and impact on the quality of life is urgently required. This was published, well, let's do the math, 15 years ago. And nobody pays attention because we've all been socialized to believe that the only people that know anything about medicine are the MDs. They have the secret decoder ring to all things medical, and everybody but them is a the back-of-the-bus quack with substandard, ineffective, dangerous treatments. It's the reverse is true, as is always true in this arena. Look, like I've said before, thank God for the sterile technique and trauma care and surgery when it's necessary. That's the wheelhouse of the conventionally trained allopathically oriented MD. Cancer and chemotherapy is a shell game. It does not work. Let the buyer beware.